And coming up next, our main event, a matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. All right, now our tale of the tape for this middleweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding the professional record of 23 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Israel, the last style bender. champion fighting out of the red corner this man is a kickboxer holding a professional record of seven wins one loss he stands six feet four inches tall weighing in at 184 pounds fighting out of sao paulo brazil presenting the reigning defending ufc undisputed middleweight champion of the world all right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. truly a fighter who can do it others. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. He blocks the punch. Oh, big, big knee there. Wow, what a head kick. 
And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Slips to avoid that one. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Adesanya gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Now Adesanya mixing it up a little bit. We'll see what he can offer on the canvas. I mean, he can do it all. He's long told us that he has a great ground game. Nobody has forced him to use it yet. Let's see what he does with this position. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as a start to down, and I think many of those kicks. Oh, huge block! And there comes the separation now. Oh! Oh, what a chance at home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick he did not recognize Ground and pound going now. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. It's such a fast leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Able to check the high kick. Big kick lands. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Adesanya. It's a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up with I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. Oh! All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice punch land over the top. Look at the force behind that leg kick. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. So he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found the set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Great punch. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, moving it on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout. Oh. Oh. Whoa! So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little... Oh, big knee! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, my goodness! Man, does... Oh! All right, working inside the closed guard now. Back to the feet. Oh, an obvious limp there. For 
sir. Oh, sir. He's got her here. Oh, he might be out. Oh. Oh, straight right. more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling should really be entertaining. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Oh, miss misses with the jazz. With the jazz. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tight one. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Now we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rim. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands, and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, we go inside the octagon now where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new USC middleweight champion So how about this, DC? We have a new UFC middleweight champion, and in this era of the 185ers, this division has never been stronger. They're all chasing a new man tonight. One of the toughest divisions in the entire UFC, and right now, he sits atop it. Congratulations to a fantastic fighter.